let's take glucosamine sulfate, for instance. That's gotten a lot of press in the last few years, and there are some good clinical studies on glucosamine sulfate and osteoarthritis, particularly of the, uh, of the knees, osteoarthritis of the knees. And you can have osteoarthritis of many joints, uh, uh, primarily the knees, the hips, and some of the finger joints. Um, but the most common occurring area for osteoarthritis is in the knees, and uh, it's a very painful type of arthritis where there is degeneration of the collagenous or um, collagen-like connective tissue or the washer, if you will. They're like washers, uh, the uh, uh, cartilage in the knee. And as washers, they sort of uh, present the knee with a, um, uh, an insulating factor from trauma and movement on the knee. And either due to trauma, due to lack of certain antioxidant activity, due to a history of wear and tear, the joint begins to break down. As it begins to break down, you start to have bone on bone. And uh, that is horrendously painful. Ultimately, it leads to knee replacement surgery for many patients, many people. Uh, but glucosamine sulfate has been found early on in the disease process, if given, at 1,500 milligrams to 2,000 milligrams a day doses uh, over a period of time that's usually by three months of uh, medicating that it will reduce the inflammation and reduce the pain in the knees due to osteoarthritis. Now glucosamine sulfate is basically a part of, if you will, the compound that that tissue in the joint, that the cartilage tissue is made up from or of. And so giving this glucosamine sulfate stimulates the uh, rebuilding, if you will, and stops or prevents the degeneration of that cartilaginous tissue in the knee joint. And in so doing, helps to relieve the pain. It also works as a local anti-inflammatory compound in some of the research that we've looked at as well, and by decreasing the inflammation, decreases the pain. Now, with all of that said, and an explanation of glucosamine sulfate, there are glucosamine sulfates that are out there that are poorly made or not salt extracted as the original glucosamine sulfate was for the studies on osteoarthritis. And I've had many patients come in my office who have said, Dr. Donovan, I've tried glucosamine sulfate for my knees or my hip or whatever. It has done nothing. Well, the two big mistakes are, one, they don't take it long enough. They take it for a couple weeks, four to six weeks, and they expect to see marked improvement. Well, the research studies don't tell us that. The research studies say a minimum of three months to get to a therapeutic value and a therapeutic level. Um, Secondly is, are they taking the right form of glucosamine sulfate, the right kind of compound? And if they're not, then the glucosamine sulfate will not be, uh, in most cases, effective. So um, taking poor quality, unstandardized uh, products that are retailly available and not taking the right product standardized for the proper dosing, as well as not taking it long enough, can cause uh, an error in understanding. And that understanding is that alternative medicine does work, glucosamine sulfate does work, particularly in osteoarthritis of the knee, but you've got to have the right one. You've got to have a standardization of its dose. You have to take the right dose and you have to take it long enough.